So look at these, look at these babies here. These are my two keepers. Bam Bam and Cha Cha now y'all. <laughs> they don't look too much different. Now the challenge is always ensuring that the dogs grow up healthy, happy, and have strong bones. Everybody says you got thick bones. What, what's a thick bone if it's not strong or if it's not useful, not useless? So then it poses the question, what's ossification, what's osteoblast? What goes into ensuring the dog's bones are healthy as they go through that stage of mitosis, which is the breaking down of cells while the dogs are you know, growing rapidly. Now, I'm T-Fit here with Fit Bully TV. Like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to comment and ask questions. Do not chew my book up. I'm about to read you something. I got them up here because when I get too close to this pen, they get fussy. They're like, bro, you this close, come pick us up. So, uh, what we have here? <clears throat> it says osteoblasts secrete the matrix, which initially soft and composed, which is initially soft and composed of collagen fibers, embedded in a gelatin-like ground substance made of protein and complex carbohydrates called polysaccharides. The osteoblasts then harden the matrix through a process called ossification. <laughs> Look at this dog. The state says. <laughs> Bone characteristics. <laughs> Bone is one of the most fascinating body tissue as it is second hardest natural substance in the body. Only second, look at this dog, Jesus. Only second to enamel, which of course, as you know, is your teeth. So what I love is a curious dog. Those, some people are like, let me grab that dog. No, I love that she's that willing. Those, the, we're gonna get into behavior, so I'm serious. But seeing that right there, it gets somebody like me excited. I said, boy, you know what I'm gonna do with this dog here? <laughs> she gonna be able to do anything. But she said, what is a polysaturide? Well, I can't tell you, you have to go to mydogtools.com, but you can look it up, be happy to do so. Now the challenge is, is making sure that you're balancing these things correctly as well. And understand, she goes again, what the bone is for, how the bone is used, how to protect the bones, and how to ensure that your bones stay growing effectively and proficiently. Bones. Hey, 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 she gonna chew up my car. Now, the goal is <laughs> to ensure that these dogs grow up with a pretty coat and have no health issues. One of the health issues that I know people are testing for nowadays are hips, elbows, etc. They've got some good hearts on them so far, and I want them to sustain the proper growth and what that plan looks like. And there are a lot of equations that go into really balancing your own diet. We don't do dog food, so we cook or we feed raw. This stuff gets extensive, but I thought it was interesting that, hey, what makes bones strong? How's the bone, the bone formulated? What goes into the bone growth and bone development? It literally just said protein and polysaccharides. Now the challenge is, is making sure that the polysaccharides that your dog is ingesting don't spike its insulin level or reek of too much sugar. It means they have to be low on the glycemic index. I'm giving you some tips here, but no solutions because the solutions are on my dog tools. So go to mydogtools.com, subscribe, share it with a friend who's trying to figure out how to deal with their dog's quality life or improve it. Sugar is the evil in dog food and all dog food has more sugar than it has protein. So as always, take care of your dogs. Keep asking questions. Thank you for listening.